Welcome to another 90 second website builder video tutorial. My name is Greg Hughes and in this video I want to talk to you about creating pages. We'll do that by using the page menu up here at the top. We click on page and we'll talk about what it means to add pages to your project. Of course when you first start out you always start with an index page. You always want to have an index page on your website. That is your default or home landing page. It's important to always have a page called index. Actually, this, this is the file name, we call it, because most servers know how to recognize a landing page called index. And I have a video just about the technology behind that, so we won't go into that here, but just know that your home page needs to be called index. One of the ways of looking at your pages is by using what we call the site manager. I'm going to move it over here into the camera a little more so you can see it. This is the site manager. Let me move this a little bit. And the site manager gives you sort of an overview of all of the pages on your website. Now, right now, I just have an untitled blank project with one default page called index. I'm going to make a couple of changes here before we get started. Um, you'll notice that the file name here, index, shows. But I like to do a little trick. I'm going to go up here to Tools, Options. And under the General tab, I can choose to show my page extensions in the site manager, which I like to do. If you do this, you're going to have to restart the software. So I'm going to do that. I'll pause the video and come back to it, and you'll see what happens. OK, I've restarted the software and came back. And now you can see that my site manager actually shows the page extensions. Now, you don't have to do this. This is just my preference. And in these video tutorials that you see, you'll always see that I do show the page extensions because I'll be talking about some different kinds of pages you could make with 90 Second Website Builder. So it's a good idea to see the whole file name sometimes. But again, that's an option that you may or may not want to use. Let's go back to the page menu and talk about what it takes to create new pages. Right now, of course, we have a blank page. And if I were to add a new page to this project, you would do just what you would think you would do and click on the button that says New Page. I can do that right here by clicking this. And I am given a choice of what kind of page I want to add. Just a regular new page or a new mobile page. Again, this is new to version 10 because version 10 has a built-in mobile website builder we'll be talking about in other videos. Or I can open up a page from a template if I happen to be using one or accessing a template. But I'm going to just say New Page. And now you can see that I have a second page. I have an index page, and then I have one that just defaults to page one. This is something that I can change the name of, obviously. If you look over here in the Site Manager, it now appears in the structure. So here's my index page, and then underneath that, the page I just added, page one. If I wanted to rename this page, I could do that by simply clicking on the Rename Page button. Or another way to do it is to go over here to the Site Manager and right-click and go to Rename Page. And I could call this something else. Let's call it about. Now you'll notice I just type about. I don't type the .html because that's an extension that the software will add for me. And so now I've got an about.html page. I can toggle between these two pages up here by switching between these tabs in case I want to work on these two pages. Now just because I close one of these tabs like this doesn't mean I've eliminated the page. It's still part of my website. I've just taken it off the canvas because maybe I want to work with this particular page. And then, of course, to start editing it, I can go over to the Site Manager and double-click on it and open it up. It appears here in the canvas for, for me to start working with. Now, let's talk a little bit about this file name. I want the HTML to show, but you don't always have to make HTML pages. Sometimes your pages won't be those kinds. And you can change that in 90 Second Website Builder by going to the page properties. Again, there's multiple ways to go to places. For example, I just renamed a page by going to the Site Manager. I could have done that here. And now I'm going to open up the page properties, which I could do by clicking here or by right-clicking out here on the canvas and going to page properties. When I bring up the page properties, these are the properties just about this page that I've called about. When I called it about, 90 Second Website Builder gave that a menu name. So if I was to create a menu, a navigation menu, it will know what to call this page. It also has a title, which is different than the file name or the menu name. These are all different attributes. I can even change this if I wanted to here. It's the page properties that allows me to set the basic attributes of what this page is going to look like. For example, I like my pages to be 1024 by 768, or whatever you want to change them to, you can do that here. Here's where I would change the file extension. 
if I was making a PHP page. And again, I won't go into the details of that here. Just want you to know this is where you would do that. Another thing I like to do is I like to make sure my page is center in the browser window. And I would do that here under Page Properties. We'll talk more about some of the other attributes in Page Properties in that particular video. But for now, just know this is how you access the Page Properties, either by right-clicking on the canvas or by using the Page Properties menu under the Page menu here. We can also access the page HTML here. If I click on this, this brings up the code. Now you're not going to need to know how to write any code in this software, but if you want to see it, you can. And if you want to add code to it, you can by clicking down here into these sections of the page where you can paste in your code. Again, we'll save that for another video. I just want you to know where it is and why it's here. So adding and deleting pages is very simple to do. Just recognize that you have this interface up here to add pages, and you also have this interface over here called the Site Manager for doing the same. If you hover over these, you'll see that it says New Page, New Mobile Page, New Page from Template, etc. You can also insert a page from an external file. That means you can bring in a page from another project, or you can import a page from an existing HTML website. Again, you can do that here, or you can do that over here. And 90 Second Website Builder will allow you to import that page into your project. If you wanted to make a new folder, a new subfolder as part of your structure, you can do that over here in the Site Manager, where you can add a folder and put pages inside that directory, where you would name that folder. If you're ready to switch to a page, you can either use this button or just simply toggle between the tabs to start editing the content of that page. Cloning a page is also a good idea to know how to do. If you've built a page and you've got it all designed and you want a second page where you make very little changes to it and you're just going to uh, basically, instead of reinventing the wheel and having to redesign your pages, I use this a lot. I'll design my index page and then I'll clone that page by clicking this button and basically make a duplicate of that page. Rename it and make the changes on it that I need to. That makes the web design process go so much faster. Making pages and adding pages in 90 Second Website Builder is really easy to do. It's just a matter of knowing where to go and there are multiple places to go. So whether you prefer to use the page menu up here, the site manager, or even uh, right click and use the uh, menu that pops up, you can do that too to add pages to your 90 Second Website Builder website project.